Hello, Dave Kennedy here. It's the 21st of the 9th, 2021. And we're going to talk about Berryman's Digit 1, which is 0 0.729 inches. <clears throat> at the uh, How it works at the Giza Great Pyramid and, and what it actually is. But before I do, I, I, I want to flag something to Melissa, because she's mentioned that... Um, the relationship between Berryman's meter of 39.375 inches and the uh, modern meter is 8,000 to 8,001. And when I saw that, I thought that can't be right because I know it's 7,874 to 7,875, the ratio. But Melissa's using um, 2.54 centimeters in an inch and I'm using 39.37 inches in a meter and uh, I'm right when we use 39.37 and Melissa's right when we use 2.54 so anyone that's using the modern meter to tell us what the ancients were doing they better look at this because they can't be right whatever they're telling us they can't be right because we don't know we don't know what um, what we should use we could use a range of values between these two parameters um, so you know when when um, people are coming on uh, on these YouTube videos and saying they were definitely using the modern meter that they, they couldn't have been using the modern meter they were using something that approximated to it and Berryman is telling us they're using 39.375 when we use Berryman's meter we can say yes definitely they were using that and Melissa's written a lot about 39.375 on her website and also on uh, Graham Hancock's website. And um, it's all great stuff. So if anybody's interested in this, they need to they need to take a look. Right, let's get on to this digit because it looks like nothing, doesn't it? 0 0.729 imperial inches. But in terms of its metrology, it's it's highly complex. Because 729 is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So it's 3 multiplied by itself 6 times. We get 729. And then 1000, which gives us the 0 0.729, is 5 times 5 times 5 times 2 times 2 times 2. So we get 2 cubes. We get the 0.6 cube and the 1.5 cube making up the 0 0.729. 0 0.6 cubes times 1.5 cubed, a very complex arrangement, resolving to, when we multiply it out, they come to 0 0.9 cubed, which is 0 0.729. So we get 3.375, which is that cubed, multiplied by 0 0.216. And we can see the metrological significance of 0 0.216 straight away. And we know there are 16 digits in Professor Greaves' Roman foot of 11.664. So we multiply that by 4 and that by 4 and we get the foot. And look what comes out here, 0 0.864. Now if we multiply that to get Berryman's Riemann, we multiply it by six, uh, divide it by 16, multiply by 20 and we get that. 16.875 multiplied by 0 0.864 is 14.58. Berryman's Riemann for the 20.61818 recurring qubit. Now, to get that qubit, we've got to multiply this by 140 over 99, which is root 2 approximate. So I've done that there. And then we multiply it by 0.864, and we get Berryman's shorter royal qubit. And we know to get his longer one, we've got to multiply that by 176 divided by 175, and it gives us 24 times 0.864 is the Neil and Michelle longer qubit. And we've got 864 appear in there, and we know that's a fraction of a day in seconds. And what this all resolves down to is that at the Giza Pyramid, in, in one inch, there are 864 seconds. So we multiply that 20.736 and we get 4.97664 hours, 0 0.20736 days. So 100 inches is one day, it has to be. 
And now when we multiply this out to get five hours, because that's nearly five hours, we find that the qubit is 20.8333, the base 100 qubit. And five hours when the base 100 qubit is used, multiplied by 1760, is 8800. And that's um, 366.666 solar days. Now, finally, Berryman K is 1.296 inches. Multiplied by 1 over 7 is 0.18514. Multiply that by the meter, we get 0.729. So the meter is built into that digit. That's all I've got to say for now. So I'm, I'm just going to say uh, thanks for tonight and thanks for listening. Sorry that was rushed.